Okay everyone, FunshineX here, welcome back to EverQuest Next Landmark. I am back at the portal, uh, crystal, oh, just fell off, <laughs> area. I've gone out and collected quite a few resources, um, probably not as enough, but if we look, I've got 4,400 copper. <laughs> that actually only took me like 20 minutes to get, you get a ton, you get like 25 every time you mine, if you go look at the loot, well, let me close this real quick, um, if you click right in the middle, Let's see, maybe not. Come on. Right in the middle. Nope. Hmm. Seems like when I'm recording, something really odd is happening with the mouse. I don't know what Camtasia is doing, but it messes up the mouse. Um, it doesn't record the mouse moving, it just freezes in place. So, I don't know what. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, hopefully it's you could still enjoy the videos without the mouse cursor. Um, anyway, if I wasn't recording, I could switch to the loop tab and actually see what I was getting for everything. Let me try and pause and maybe that'll help. Okay, we'll just chop that one up to being a bug. I can't click on it. I have no idea why. Um, before I was able to, it was really finicky, but now I'm not even able to. Anyway, um, back at the spire because I'd like to take some of this material that I've got and actually use it now. So we've got 1100 stone, uh, 1000 iron, 1000 tin, some dirt, some agates and uh, tourmalines, a little bit of wood, uh, some heartwood. Uh, when I was mining and kind of some of the items had green stuff coming off, that's like the heartwood and the uh, there's some other extra like elemental copper, elemental tin, elemental iron. That kind of stuff. So it's a little bit rare of a drop, but you get every once in a while when you're mining. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. Um, this chest here, I guess if you have the Founders Pack um, and you lost any of your items during the Alpha to Beta transition, you can get them back in that chest. Don't Doesn't apply to me. Um, this is at the main crafting or tier one crafting area uh, called a stone. Oh, basic forge. Sorry, basic forge. And here we can make the stone and copper pick. Obviously, I have the founders, so I'm not going to be doing that. Axe, same thing. Uh, building tools, if for some reason I lost my building tools that I have, I could buy them for 4,000 dirt. Not going to do that. Uh, metal. Um, here's my copper ingots. I'm going to go ahead and craft all those up. I can make 44 of them. Can I type in here? Yep, craft. Is it instant? No, it takes a while. So you can see there's a little progress bar. It's making them. So I'll just let that go. Can I click on anything else? No, that looks like it stopped that. Okay. So let's make uh, 710. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Not too bad. Uh, I'll pause and mine the rest of that. Uh, or turn it things. And then some coal. I can take the wood and obviously divide it by 10 and make some charcoal or coal <laughs> should be called charcoal right there we go okay so that's pretty much all we can do this is basic forge nothing really else to do so go ahead and close out of there I noticed over here we've got another one this is called the basic warp shop here's a bunch of cool stuff we can make a portal shard which allows us to teleport to this crystal spire or to any claim I owns I own. <laughs> and it costs some copper ingots. It costs elemental copper and tourmaline. And I have all that, so might as well get one. Hooray, we got a portal shard. Okay, uh, accessories. Uh, the keen eye band. The wearer has a chance to find additional rare resources while harvesting. That sounds really important. Ten copper for that. I think I'm going to go ahead and get one of those. Uh, scout's emblem. I need ten tin. And I've already got the other stuff, so I can make a wing boot that makes me move faster. An anklet of bounding is a little bit more hard. I need 20 iron ingots, 10 tin, a bunch of elemental, and look, 100 aquamarines. That's going to take a while to get. Okay, and earlier in the last video I was saying, I have no idea how to claim a claim. Well, here you go. Claim flag. You need to buy one. Or craft one. <laughs> Nine elemental iron. I got that. I got the heartwood but I do not have any aquamarines, and it says it's a tier 2 raw gemstone, which means I need to go to a tier 2 planet, or zone, whatever you want to call it, island. Um, but it doesn't do me much good because I don't have 
Can my pick do tier two? Let's look at my pick. The founder's pick does, oh, it does do tier two. Okay. Okay, cool. It's a pick and an ax. And it does tier two. Okay, so I might be able to just go to tier two right now and try and get some aquamarine. And then once you get a claim flag, you can get an attached claim flag and basically make your claim bigger. But that costs tons of stuff, so they don't really want you to be claiming a lot of land really early here. Um, the stone forge I definitely need pretty early. I've got the 50 coal. I made that. Um, I need a pile of worked stone, 2100 of that. Okay, that's going to take a while. And 15 copper ingots. Once I have a claim, I can plop down this stone forge in my claim, and then I don't have to come back to the pillar here to craft stuff. Pretty cool. So, tier 1 forge, tier 2, tier 2, tier 3. Alright, here's where I take my stone. So, for 100 stone, I get 105 crafted stone. Okay, sure, go. Yeah, I don't. I'm. I guess I need some of it to build with, but I can get more. Let's just turn it all into this. All right. So how much? We are about halfway to our stone forge. Okay, cool. And then wood, I can get um, some planks. And that's used to craft other things. Um, need some higher tier logs. Looks like. Oh no, just different kinds. So it's kind of like a different, like, birch and oak and that kind of stuff. And I can buy a ton of, ton of props, plants, trees, and rocks. I'll do that later once I actually have a claim and start building something. So I think really the only thing right now to do is, is head to a tier 2 area and see if I can actually mine some aquamarine. So let's get in this little portal. Let's look up and click on this guy here up at the top. And I can click which server I want. I definitely want the Courage server. That's what I'm on. And which continent? Uh, how about the beach? Or coral? Cliff? Hmm. The kettle? <laughs> well, let's look at what else we got. A peak? A point? A scree? I don't know what a scree is. A spine? And a valley? What was that other one? A trench. <laughs> well, we're going to Scree because I have no idea what that is, and I kind of have a feeling what the other ones look at look like. So let's go to tier two. Come on, you can do it. Come on. All right, I might pause here just till we get to the actual planet. Be right back, guys. Okay, looks like it's about to load up for us here, 100%, and we are in a tier two area. Can I click this loot guide? Oh, I'm gonna click him now. Amazing. Sweet. All right. Well, this is a scree. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, why is my FPS going down? Probably just world generating. Uh, this is actually pretty bad. Oh, yeah. There's all the trees popping in. <laughs> there we go. Okay. A little bit better now. Let's look for some aquamarine. Maybe that, that blue thing over there. Let's see. There's something pink here. Let's check this out. Come on, mine it. We're getting tourmaline. I already have tourmaline. Okay, well this scree definitely is affecting my recording. Because it keeps popping in trees in and out. And then my FPS goes way horrible. So if you have a pretty crappy machine, you're definitely not be able to record on it you might be able to play but there blue aquamarine let's check aquamarine sweet all right we're gonna have a claim here guys is that it i got all of them nope there's more oh there is a zoom in control or no shift mouse wheel and zoom in that helps a lot when you're mining down in these little holes especially if you go deep down underground you can actually see you're quite claustrophobic in here, actually. Come on. Get that one. A couple more. Any more? Alright, I think that's all our aquamarines there. 
And what else? Hello, RS Soulbright. Don't steal my aquamarines. I need them. I thought there was another patch around here. Guess not. That is a big tree. <laughs> See, can I even mine this one? There's some trees in tier one that I couldn't even mine. Oh, well, I can mine that guy. <laughs> I don't think I will. Okay, well, how many aquamarine did we end up with here? 155. That's pretty good. What's this? Iron? This is iron ore. Nice. Supposedly the iron pickaxe um, is better than the founder's pickaxe. Because it can do tier 3, I think. That's just me guessing. <laughs> I do need that elemental iron, though, for some stuff. Oh, I need to get the, that, that bracelet that gives me a higher chance of getting the random ores. That would be really helpful right now. Okay, what's this guy? More iron? Yeah, more iron. Come back and get that. I'm just looking for more aquamarines here. Resources don't appear to be too rare. I mean, I guess certain stuff might be. But you can see I just found three huge sources of iron right there. And the Founder's Pick apparently lets you skip right to Tier 2, which is pretty cool. If you guys are on, like, the 7-day trial, free trial, or the, uh, if you're gifted a code from, like, GameStop or one of the magazines that gives out the codes, Curse, I think, is going to give out some, a few codes pretty soon, um, then, yeah, you won't have this Founder's Pick, and you'll have to slowly work your way up. All right, I see something shiny over there. Diamonds? Diamonds to me. Da, 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 da. Oh, watch this. Whee! Oh, he didn't do it. There he goes. No, just shinies. Aquamarines. That's exactly what I wanted. Cool. Oh, and uh, some coal. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Just find some random stuff in here. Alright. Looks. Oh, a couple more over here. Alright, well, I think we've got it probably 200 now. Let's head back to the crafting area, and we'll see if we can craft something. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. I've got quite a few minerals. You can see I just got a ton of pile of worked stone. Let's go ahead and craft some stuff up. So the first thing I want to get is my claim flag. Oh, I've got enough for two, but I'm just going to grab one. It's going to take a bunch of my elemental iron, just 10 of the 400 aquamarine I got, and 10 of the heartwood I have. Craft that baby up, and I have a claim flag. Sweet. And then I'd also go like to get this crafting station here and make a stone forge. You can see I went and got my stone. It's going to take pretty much all my coal, half my copper, a third of my elemental copper. Go. It's a little bit longer. And now I can see kind of what I need to work up to. So the next tier two thing, I'm going to need a bunch of iron. I've got the tin, I've got the aquamarine, I've got the heartwood, and I've got the wood planks I can craft them. So really all I need to do is start getting some iron. Where's uh... How do I get the iron? This one doesn't have any metals. Okay. So I must have to, maybe in my stone um, forge I can get the iron, because this basic uh, one does not have iron, it's just copper and tin, I believe. Let's check. Yeah. Metal, copper, and tin. So I couldn't get the iron. So now that I own a Stoneforge one, I can put it in a claim. And now I can uh, do something with it. So did I get out of that before it was done? My portal shard. My claim flag. Huh. Really? <laughs> I cl clicked on something before it was completely done. Oh well. Come on. Go, 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 go. Bam! Alright, there we go. Okay, so now time to find out where we can make a claim. So let's go to uh, upkeep management and there's 70 copper ore. All claims will expire today at 1240, which is uh, I don't know what time zone that is. 
Okay, well, let's put um, 10 copper ore in there. What did that say? I couldn't read it. Default. Deposit 10 funds into your claim pack. New balance is 310 funds. So apparently it started with funds in there already. All right, we'll see. Okay, so now let's go to our map and let's see where people have made claims. Not that many. So the beta just started today, you know, maybe about six hours ago. So not many people are claimed here in the scree. <laughs> um, there's quite a few, as you saw, had been claimed in the first area. Uh, but yeah, I guess I could just claim claim part of the scree here. There's a nice area over here. It's kind of like up on the hills. And what's cool about this, look at this. This is a 3D map. <laughs> that is awesome. I could go out in the sand, or I could just go in this area here. It would be cool to stick near spawn, so if somebody spawned in and they saw my building, they could give it a rating. So maybe I'll go up on top of this mountain here, make something into the cliffside. Then I'd be able to go into this darker green area here if I needed some other materials. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's do something. Let's. I want to check some other areas out just to see what they look like. I know the lag was pretty bad when I loaded up a new area, but let's try it. All right, so click the portal. What are things we got? An arch? That sounds kind of cool. I want to check out the bay or the beach. This beach is a tier two. Are any of these? They're all low. Any of you guys a little bit higher? No, nope, they're all low. Okay. Courage, beach, go. All right, and I will be back as soon as this is all loaded up. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, that I, the map I went to, I didn't like. Beach was just a bunch of dirt. There was no ocean, nothing beautiful, but look what else <laughs> I found here on Valley. These huge mountains. Oh, look at the view. Wow, it's beautiful. This is where we're going to build. So take a look at the map. We've got a huge open area here. Um, all the way to the top of that mountain is really open. So I think I might come along here and stake this guy right here up on the top of the mountain. I'll have a nice view down the valley to the portal and uh, be able to come out here to the desert if I wanted some sand. This area, this area, this area. So I've got pretty good access to all the places. Oh no, Zach, don't you take my area, man. You get out of here. <laughs> um, but the the um, the claims are very small. So even though if you look at that and there's this huge red area, you can see the claims are actually only this little box. But it protects a larger area around it so that you can't build right next to someone else and troll them or grief them, that kind of thing. And also you can use that area as mining. If all the areas got filled up with claims, then there'd be no place to mine. So why do the trees keep popping in and out? Although I kind of like the trees not there. <laughs> That's just, why do they, they're there, they're gone, they're there, they're gone. So I think uh, claiming in a tier two area is probably a good idea. Um, I might regret it when I need to go to tier three areas. What is this purple stuff? Purple is, I'm too low. I need a better axe for that. Okay, well, I'm going to have an iron axe shortly, as soon as I get to the top of this mountain. What is that? There's like a tongue here. <laughs> it's the mountain's tongue, and I can't get up. There we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, these trees disappearing and appearing and bugging me. But it is beta. It's going to happen. You can see, as soon as I look out that way, the trees disappear. All right, am I where I want to be? I think so. Yep, just a little bit higher, top of this cliff, and we're there. We'll give a, a try to see how this claiming system works. All right, we're there. Nice. Look at that view. Beautiful. And then I come over here. You can see there's the portal right ahead. Nice. Okay, this is where I want to claim. It's going to look a lot awesomer. Awesomer. <laughs> uh, once I'm done building my house on a hill. Okay. Inventory. Claim flag. Right click this item to place your claim. 
There we go. Look at that. Oh, I could have placed it anywhere. Okay. Well, I want it right on top of me. I think. Oh, that's awesome. It's all 3D. And I can actually put it... No, I can't. Okay. Um, what's going on? Is it only... See, like, sometimes it's coming up and it's going down. <laughs> what is going on here? Alright, well... How do I maybe move it up? I want to move it up. I don't want to be down on the ground there. That kind of sucks. Come on. I have no idea if it goes to the sky. You can see some of these other guys back there. Hmm. Looks like it's just adjusting to where the middle of my mouse is. So, okay. Well, let's just do it here then. It's a pretty small claim. Should I do it up higher? I think I want to do it up higher. There's too much just terrain here. I want more of a flat area, I think. That looks a little bit better up there. Oh, watch this. Whee! Why does he never do it? There he goes. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so sorry about that. All the footage after that part it all got corrupted and had no sound and was just frozen, so... Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't show you the end of that episode, but I didn't do much, just ran around and mined a little bit. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been Funshot X for Landmark. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to actually go start building in our claim. Catch you later. Bye.